this wasn't one of those things where, hey, you know, we'd like to bring you guys in and you come in. No, these were real sit-down meetings. Mm -hmm. Our first meeting was with McMahon, Russo, Ross, JR. Yep, Ross and, uh, the, and the other Pritchett. Guy. No, Pritchett, uh, Bruce was no, there. no, well, Bruce was there, but uh, Ferrara. And Ed Ferrara. And Ed Ferrara. We met with as, as high up as you can go in that company. That was our first meeting. And uh, our second meeting was just us and JR. Uh, and Vince, us, JR, and Vince. Yeah, Vince yeah. Um, what was the question? I was gonna, well, your initial impressions of Vince. We liked it. No problem with Vince however. I mean, if it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't be uh, sitting here living, you know, with the lifestyle. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't we'd have, have the money that we have. We have right now today. I mean, we've got no bad words to say about Vince at all. He treated us extremely well. It wasn't right what he did with the name. Right. But when you look at it from Vince's point of view, it's business. He trademarked a name that hadn't been trademarked, that we thought was, was his best interest. But you know what? Trademark the fucking name. We still make money off of it. Vince let a tag team from another company get higher in his company than anybody else ever had. And if you really, you really need to understand what goes on behind closed doors in wrestling. Tag team wrestling is not a priority of Vince McMahon. It's something that, it's gravy for him. Okay? And also, somebody from another company to reach the top of the ladder in WWE is unheard of. You name me one act, one singles wrestler or team that's ever made it to the top, to the, to the upper tier of WWE in the past 20 years that was not created by Vince McMahon, wasn't created in the WWE's test tubes. There's nobody. There's a, a tiny bit of guys, the Duds, Jericho. Some guys that got there, but then we were took, taken right back down. And as far as tag team goes, I mean, a lot of people say, well, what about the Road Warriors? Yes, the Road Warriors were great, and they did extremely well in the WWE, but I think even you have to admit, at the level that we were at, they still weren't there. We were having main events with Rocky, Austin. I mean, just about every week we were in the main event with someone. We stole the show with two WrestleManias. That's the bottom line. Yeah. We weren't booked in the main event. Um, we weren't even the semi-main event, but we stole the show. I'm going to ask you about that. Definitely. That, 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 that says it enough. And that's not just us. We stole the show with Edge and Christian and the Hardys. Probably the, the greatest tag team run since the Hearts, the Bulldogs, Demolition, and, you know, right around 85. I guess there was an urban legend of sorts, so I guess when you worked with uh, no, Bradshaw... No, it's true, I'm black and it's... <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a legend going around, or a rumor, that when you guys worked with uh, Simmons and Bradshaw, they worked real stiff with you guys in the first match there to send a message. What are your uh, thoughts on that or response? Well, ask Ron and Bradshaw the message that we sent them that night. Right. The message was reciprocated tenfold. We knew damn well that we were going to get tested our first night in, well, our first angle in with the Acolytes, because of what Public Enemy had done before we got there. See, Public Enemy left a really bad taste in people's mouths. And their final night there, or their final couple matches, Ron and John beat the shit out of them. We came in with a perception of these guys are going to be worse than the Public Enemy. So we got in there the first night, and the, st the story goes like this. We were supposed to hit the ring and hit him with two-by-fours. To hit a guy with a two-by-four, make it look good, and not hurt somebody really bad is very difficult because the two by four is such an awkward, uh, you know, just it's just awkward to do. So I was I was like Devon, there's no way in hell that it, it's our first night. We have to cream these guys. We gotta hit them as hard as we can. But oh, I don't want to do it. He's like I don't want to do that to Ron Simmons or you know whatever. So we went up to Ron Simmons and I said, Mr. Simmons, you think maybe it would be better if instead of two by fours? And he cut me off. He goes. You know how to work a two by four, don't you? Yes, sir, Mr. Simmons. Yes, we do. So yes, 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 we do. yes, we'll work it. And I told Devon, I said, we're not working shit. Hit him as hard as you can, and we'll deal with it later. Because we knew we were going to get it back anyway. But to be quite honest with you, remember where we came from for the past four years. What the fuck were they going to do to us that we haven't had tenfold on to us? We beat the crap out of each other that night. They beat us up worse than we beat them up. But at the end of the night, when all was said and done, we shook their hands. We said thank you. We hugged them. Right then and there, we earned our respect in the locker room. Not only that, but we've been close ever since.